anyway, yeah. Today I'm going to show you how to make this inside Flight Sim. This is a volumetric shrub. Stand by and enjoy. Hello, hey, hey. Hey everybody, Mark here from Sawfly Media and Sawfly Concepts. Yeah, we, we've got two now. That's cool. So, what I've got on the screen right here is a little shrub. Shrubs are cool. Don't ever forget that. Shrubs are amazing. So this is a little shrub, and as you can see, it's fairly three-dimensional. You know, if you're like from over here or something like that, and you take a good look at it, and you sort of... Oops, and you sort of move around it in panning sort of idea. Yeah, it, it, it kind of looks 3D, but it really isn't. So today I'm going to show you how to make volumetric shrubs. Volumetric is just a very fancy word, <coughs> which means it's got volume to it. Fun, really. A lot of fun. <coughs> now you're going to need two textures. Let's go find one. Oh, <laughs> That one there as well, that'll be fine. Remember to name your textures. Alright, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, for shrubs, I would recommend two textures. For grass, you could probably stick with a texture sheet. Um, you can even make these into texture sheets if you like. I like I'm going to be using two separate textures just to show you for now. You know, Flight Sim, if you're making these for Flight Sim, would definitely prefer a texture sheet. Because the more texture to have, the longer it's going to take to load, and you know the more RAM it eats. So we've got that. We don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So we've got our shrub here. Basically, what we want to do is we want to just go ahead, and make a copy of that, move it back, let's say 0.2, keep it nice and uniform. Do it again. One. There we are. Okay, so that's uh, that's not quite square, but still, it matters not. Now, for each and every other one, you might want to just sort of go ahead and position the texture. Like this. So you flip left and right. Cool. Because there's no uniform state in textures, so just flip some of them left and right. Make some of them smaller, and just scale them down like that. Flip left, right. There we go. Fantastic. <coughs> now, if we turn off the profiles and the edges, so that looks a, a lot more three dimensional. But only from this angle, if you come to this angle, then we can tell they're flat planes. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to be using the other texture we've got here to make them more three-dimensional. So if we turn on the edges again, we're just going to steal one of these from over here, like so. Flip the texture. Just in size a little bit. That's nice. Like that. We're going to make a couple of variations. On this, what we're going to do now, just make a couple of variations, like I just said there, and um, well, pretty much use both our textures to full advantage. Just like so. Yeah. Now we can split them in half. I've got two more little bits to work with. This is already a nice size, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make that a group. So I'm going to make it a group. I'm going to rotate it round. It's facing this way. Nope. Probably should fix the back side of that. Didn't notice that. So there we go. I reckon this one's going to be the same. Oh no, that one's fine. Fantastic. With our group, just drag it in. Like so. And we're not going to be dealing with some interesting angles. We're not going to be going 
perfect 90 degrees. We're going to flip these on a slight angle so to look as a bit more realistic. Because, like I said, there is literally no uniform uniformality, whatever the word is in it. So there we go. And just keep populating like that. Same goes for this one. Make it a group. I'm going to size it up a little bit. Like so. But basic same principle. I don't know what happened there. But of course, it's the same principle for all of these things. You just want to continue going with it until it looks nice and volumetric. Yeah, I think I pretty much finished that. Now, as you can see, there's a lot going on in there. There's probably a few too many polygons for you to even dream about counting. But we have a nice looking arrangement. Now there's just one more thing we need to do and that's even up the sides and make it look more like a bush. And there we go. One nice volumetric bush just for you. So, we've come this far. Now I think it's time we looked at this inside a proper a proper model thingy. Uh, if we just turn off the edges. Yeah, it looks alright. But I think it's about time we've looked inside Model Converter X. Before we do that, one more thing we're going to do here is to turn off the edges, turn on the edges, sorry. And select everything, and we're going to drag it roughly into the center. So we go to top down. Roughly into the center, and we'll try that again, shall we? Let's pause the video. Maybe. Shrub. I could have sworn I exported it as shrub before. What did I say that as? It's, oh, I saved it as shub. Shub. Anyway, it's a shub. Yes. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. There we go. Shub. Ha. <laughs> okay, MCX is now reading that. It will open it up. And you can see we've got some shadows to get rid of and things like that. But, if you look at the polygon count, 112, which is fantastic. Alright, now let's deal with this. Turn up the alpha test level to 120 on both of them. There we go. Don't get rid of the horrible there. And we'll turn off the shadows. Like so. And uh, no, we can probably turn on the nosy right. I'm going to keep the Z right on. Doesn't look too good. Okay, that's perfect. Something else we're going to do is we're going to go on to assume vertical normal. So it's all roughly the same shade and there's no weird shadowing on either side of it. So there we have our shrub. We have a perfect volumetric shrub. Look at that. Shub. Yes, it's a shub. Shrub! And it'll look really nice, actually. If you want to go ahead and save that for a flight sim model, simple way to do it. Textures, save them both, make sure they're the right size, so resize to 124, 512. Same goes for this one, 124, 512. Now you can either save them as DDS or DXT. Um, I like saving as DXT because I find it um, boosts frame rates a little bit. So we'll save that as that. Save textures. Export object. Flight simulator, FSX, Essentials, 2, Scenery, and let's name it Shrub. There we go, Shrub. FSX model. And there we are. 
that's our volumetric shrub made and ready to go. More of a ferny shrub, if anything, but still, it's ready to run. Well, let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that inside FSX, shall we? Okay, now we're inside FSX. Let's get into that scenery library and update. It's testing to delete it. Let's add area. Just like so. New scenery files in there now. So, let us move on. Southampton, because I hate love it. In the cam. Go to daytime. Let's go for summer. And let's fly. Do that. <clears throat> okay. So, now we're inside Flight Sim. Let us dash on over to my little testing area. This is, this is it right here. This little area. Testing things in. You can see I've got a, got a couple of uh, buildings in here already. So, let us test our shrub, shall we? Where should we put it? We'll pop it down right about here. Add-ons. Now, I know for an absolute fact that this is still going to be called Shub. There you see. Shub. Beautiful. But put the textures in. Ha! <laughs> Jump cut! Okay, we're back with the textures. Alright, cool. <laughs> so, this is our little shrub here. It looks quite cool, I think. Quite impressive. Place it in. Add some modifier. Turn in a little bit every so often. See, they are very green. I didn't, I didn't edit the textures in any way, shape, or form to make them look more um, environmentally friendly. I don't know if that's the right word I'm looking for here, but still. That's what we're going with. So yeah, that's what they look like in Flight Sim. They're not too bad at all. You might need to edit the textures a little bit to give them a slightly darker colour. Um, give each individual leaf the, its own unique sort of colour. Every part of the texturing really makes it look better. So the more you play around with the textures, the more it's going to look realistic, as it were. So yeah, well that's some shrubs. I hope you enjoyed it. Shrubs is... Shrubs leaves and stuff.